Yeah, it was definitely a lot closer than I wanted it to be. I um, I thought, you know, I was going to be able to come out and absolutely annihilate people. And, you know, Jamie, Christina, they, they proved me wrong. Um, they definitely made us work for it. But I'm happy that, you know, our starts were there. They're getting more consistent, a lot better, a lot quicker. And I was able to drive uh, two consistent, decent runs. Uh, it's definitely a work in progress. At the end of the day, I'm only in the sport a year and a half, so every race we're still getting stronger, and it's really good to see, um, even looking back at start times from um, 2010, we're only 200s off the start record today. So it's a really an encouragement that we're moving in the right direction, and I'm excited to see what happens moving forward. As you can see, there's not many competing in uh, in the World Cup this year, and you know there's quite a few in Europe. We've got um, a few development, especially Canada. I know we've got three over in Europe developing right now, but it's going to take them a couple years. At the end of the day, though, we've seen a rapid decline in, in women's bobsleigh um, over the last couple years. When I first started, 03, we had five competitive Canadian teams, you know, on World Cup vying for three spots. You know, now I'm the only Canadian right now in World Cup, and and it's hard. So, and I know every nation's the same. So, really, I'd encourage all girls if you think you're at all powerful and strong and somewhat quick come out and try 